of CELA Broadcasting Network. Buenos dias, CELA families. I'm Mrs. Buchanan, and today is Wednesday, April 14th, 2021. Today is International Moment of Laughter Day. The objective of this day is to get people to laugh and to laugh more often. After all, laughter is the best medicine. So go out, see who you can make laugh today. Make somebody in your family laugh. Make a friend laugh. Make a classmate laugh. Oh, not when the teacher's teaching, but maybe when the teacher's not teaching, you're at recess. <gasps> Or you can make your teacher laugh. Tell a joke. Tell a riddle. Make a funny face. Make somebody laugh today. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Today will be cloudy with a high of 82 and a low of 57. Don't forget to sign up for CMS Eats at Home. Check out our Facebook page or Class Dojo for more information. Or you can sign up at the web address shown on the screen. I will have curbside pickup today from 11.30 to 1. Those will be the new hours, 11.30 to 1. So swing by and pick up a book or two. You don't even need to get out of car. I'll come up to you unless it's raining have the books out in the rain. Then you'd have to like come under the shelter. But if it's not raining, I'll bring them to you. The books that you put on hold or my book cart. And you can choose the books off the book cart and I'll check them out to you. Super fun. So try to swing by today. Oh, I so need to bring money to buy one of those friendship bracelets. I love them. They are super, super cool. <sighs> Gotta remember to bring money. Bring money, bring money, bring money. Gotta remember that. Staff, keep sending videos in for morning news. K Pasa Sila is up next. Hey, Charlotte Ace Wolves. This is Jennifer Moore, Dean of Students. This week's Alpha Wolf of the Week for third through fifth grade is Lionel in the fifth grade. Ms. Hirsch nominated Lionel because he's always on time to attend his remote learning classes. He shows up willing to participate and ready to turn his camera and microphone on. He's eager to learn new fifth grade skills. He's diligent about checking to see if he has any missing assignments and he works hard at completing them. We're so proud of the hard work that he's put in this year in fifth grade. I'm so proud of you, Lionel. Way to go, man. That's awesome. Tune in next week to see who our next third through fifth grade Alpha Wolf of the Week is. Good morning, everybody. My name is Miss Rosa, and I'm starting a brand new segment for the CELA News. It's called Foreign Language Friday. What inspired me is the fact that many people here at CELA speak more than one language. At CELA, we speak English, and sometimes we study Spanish. But I know that many of you speak different languages at home. One of the things that I learned recently is that every two weeks, so every 14 days, a language disappears. So that means that by the time you guys are great grandparents, about half of the 7,000 languages spoken on Earth will likely disappear. And that's because lots of communities will abandon their native language for other languages like English and Mandarin or Spanish. I myself can speak three languages. I speak Spanish at home with my family. I speak English and Spanish here at work. And I also can speak Japanese because I lived in Japan. On this segment, I want to invite you to come and share your language with everybody here at school. Today, I'm going to share with you a little bit of Japanese. But next time, if you're interested, please tell your teacher so that they can tell me that you want to be on Foreign Language Friday with Miss Rosa to share. So let's talk about Japanese. I lived in Japan and I learned Japanese. So I'm going to teach you a little bit of Japanese today. You ready? Okay. So the first thing I want to teach you in Japanese is the word good morning. Because it's morning time. It's the Sila News. So repeat after me. Ohio. Yeah, it kind of sounds like the state, right? Ohio, good. And that's a really casual way. You can say it a little bit more formal. You wanna say it with me? Say it with me. Ohio gozaimasu. Ohio gozaimasu. Nice work, guys. That's how you say hello to somebody in Japanese. Or I should say good morning. 
What if you want to say hello? You say, Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. It's a little fast. Let's say it a little slower, okay? Konnichiwa. 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 That says hello. Hmm. And the last thing I want to teach you is how to count to 10 in Japanese. You ready? Hold up your hands like this. Say it with me. Ichi. Ni. San. Shi. Go. Roku. Nana. Hachi. Kyu. Ju. That's how you say one through ten in Japanese. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, ro, shi, hachi, kyu, ju. Anyways, that's all for Foreign Language Friday today. Please, if you want to be on Foreign Language Friday with Miss Rosa, let me know and I'll invite you and you can teach the whole school what language you speak at home with your family. See you later. Sayonara. Adios. Parents, you're invited. Need some new strategies to help your child during this difficult time? Then kick off your shoes, grab some food, and join us for a fun night filled with great stories that will make you laugh, reflect, and we'll give strategies to help you motivate your child for the rest of the school year from 6 to 7 p.m. on Zoom tonight. Padres, están invitados. ¿Necesita nuevas estrategias para ayudar a su hijo durante este momento difícil? Entonces, quítese los zapatos, tome algo de comida y únase a nosotros para una noche divertida, llena de grandes historias que lo harán reír, reflexionar, Y le harán estrategias para ayudarlo a motivar a su hijo por el resto del año escolar. De 6 a 7 p.m. hoy en Zoom. Parents, please stay connected to Class Dojo for important announcements and information. Oh, my favorite segment, Cooking with Dion. Like, Dion should win an Emmy for that segment because it's, like, um, super awesome and, like, my favorite segment. And she does, like, a really good job. And now I really want to have blueberry waffles, but I'm going to have blueberry waffles. And I'm going to put blueberries on top and then whipped cream on top of that. Mm, 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 mm. Thanks, Dion, for reminding me how easy they are to make and how much fun they are to make and how delicious they are. Keep sending those segments in because it's one of our favorites. Students, send your videos in to Mr. Perez at the address shown on the screen. Anything that you did over spring break you could tell us about. Any gardening that you've done. Anything. Oh, I know some of you have chickens out there and cats and dogs. Oh, you can make a video about any of those things and send them in. Now for a Seela Junior Moment. show you the science experiment of how to make your drawing disappear. What you're going to need is, is a bowl full of water, a Ziploc bag, and your drawing. And make sure your drawing fits in the Ziploc bag. Once you got your Ziploc bag with your picture, put it in the water. Did you see it disappear? Good. Once you take it out of the water, it reappears. Bye. Hola, mi nombre es Melissa y hoy vamos a hacer un chocolate. Primero, vamos a poner leche a calentar y después vamos a poner chocolate y, y luego Vamos a poner, vamos a poner marshmallows y salió aquí el chocolate con marshmallows y salió rico, bye. Riddle, riddle, riddle time, riddle time, riddle time. Yesterday's riddle, you're driving a city bus. At the first stop, three women get on. At the second stop, one woman gets off and a man gets on. And at the third stop, two children get on. The bus is blue and it's raining outside in December. What color is the bus driver's hair? Mm -hmm. Were you listening to the words? That's another one I said you need to listen to the words. Each individual word, there's one word. Well, actually, it's a contraction, which means it's two words put together. That's really important.
Are you ready? Listen. You're the bus driver. You're driving a city bus. At the first stop, three women get on. At the second stop, one woman gets off and a man gets on. At the third stop, two children get on. The bus is blue and it's raining in December. What color is the bus driver's hair? Who's the bus driver? You. <gasps> There's the bell. You are the bus driver. You're the bus driver. What color is your hair? That's the answer. You have to listen for the word your. You are. Your. Two words together. Contraction. Ah, <gasps> oh, Tricky one. Pat yourself on the back if you got that one. Oh, that was pretty tricky. All right, today's riddle. Why can you give a man with no hair that he will never part with? Why can you give a man with no hair that he will never part with? Good luck. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. To loo, kangaroo. Manana, iguana. See you round like a donut. Bye. Adios.